At the garage, Leah and Justin are face to face for the first time in days. Leah tells Justin that they've put Theo in a terrible position. Justin agrees, but his true concern is Leah as he wonders what's happening with them. He expresses how much he misses her. It's too much for Leah though, and to Justin's disappointment, she bolts. As she debriefs with Marilyn at the diner, a familiar face walks in, it's Valerie, her roommate from the clinic. Valerie can't believe after all she heard about Justin that Leah hasn't gone home to him. Knowing how much they love each other, Valerie convinces Leah to ask Justin to join them for dinner later. Is this the beginning of their road back together? Meanwhile, when Eden visits Remy in hospital, she can't help notice Bree's growing protectiveness, it's like they need a security clearance whenever they visit him. Remy downplays it, pointing out that he can't take more than one visitor anyway. Brie takes a worrying phone call from her mum and although she covers her pain in front of Remy, she's visibly distressed once he rests his eyes. Kirby catches her crying the following day and Brie opens up, her dad has been in an accident and he's on life support. Brie's focus is Remy though and she hides the truth from him later. She vows not to go anywhere as she soothes Remy, but crumbles later into the arms of a concerned Kirby. Elsewhere, in spite of his own recent career upset. Cash takes Rose out to celebrate her promotion. Rose still worries for her friend and questions whether he really has no regrets. Cash admits that he does, but he's told HQ where to go now. What's done is done, and he's moving on. Rose has a suggestion, a friend of hers has just moved into security so she'll send over his number. When Eden stumbles upon him perusing security jobs, his interest seems piqued. Could this be a new career for Cash?